my dear friends this is a previous year question asked in 2024 you can just see that this is a system in which masses are there m2 is dominating m1 it is coming down it is moving up he is asking us to find out the ratios of m1 and m2 you know the general method first i will discuss a shortcut method then i will discuss a general method also you can just see what is a shortcut if you want to find out m1 by m2 without even solving without pen and paper you can just write n minus 1 by n plus 1 is going to be your shortcut formula this is going to be your shortcut formula how do you get this shortcut formula let me discuss now if a is equal to g by n means it is g by root 2 given the problem here then you can just write root 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 is going to be your answer that's it you can solve another problem also by using the same logic let me discuss how are you going to solve this problem here just see a same logic here it is given that a is equal to g by n in the place of g by n 9 by 8 is present that's it isn't it so how are you going to find out the ratios of m1 by m2 it is very simple i just told you that you have to write n minus 1 by n plus 1 so here g by n is nothing but in the place of n you'll be in 8 here so it is nothing but 8 minus 1 by 8 plus 1 that's it it is going to be 7 by 9 okay if you ask to find out the ratio m2 by m1 it is 9 by 7 that's it b is going to be your option hope you have enjoyed this shortcut and now you can just see the long method also thank you my dear student this is a previous year question asked in j mains 2024 that means in an april shift it's the latest question okay so he's asking us to find out the ratios of m1 and m2 and when it's a pulley it's a pulley in which masses m2 and m1 are there m2 is dominating that's why it's coming down with an acceleration a it is moving up with an acceleration a so he's asking us to find out if acceleration is g by root 2 what is the ratio of m1 and m2 just in the place of acceleration you write g, b, g by root 2 that's it so gg gets cancelled you can cross multiplication you have to that is root 2 m1 plus root 2 m2 is nothing but m1 plus m2 so take m1 terms to this side that means you can common out m1 and writing root 2 plus 1 you can common out m2 isn't it okay so you can common out m2 you can write root 2 minus 1 that's it isn't it so therefore we can write m1 by m2 is nothing but root 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 this is going to be your answer similar type of question you can just do there is one more question here of same type instead of acceleration he has given g by 8 that's it so you can do very easily